Hello viewers, uh, my name is George Hiotis and uh, people have asked me uh, to make a short tutorial about how to make uh, these 3D boards. So it's quite simple. Um, first, some of the tools of the trade that you'll need. Perhaps a pencil. Uh, Sharpies, and I'll tell you what the Sharpies are all about. I have gray, green, and brown, and black. And uh, if you have two types, fine point and the larger ones, that's an acid. Uh, perhaps a brush to apply glue. Uh, speaking of glue, what I do is in a little tupper, I put PVA glue, or this is Gorilla glue. I'm not sure if it is PVA glue. It's white glue. It can be any type of white glue, actually. And I put it on a little tupper and I dilute it with a little bit of water. And it uh, works wonders. Um, I think Elmer's would also be your ordinary school white glue would be okay. Um, exacto knife. Be careful with the exacto knife. And um, A hot wire cutter. Now this is a, a cheap one that I got from uh, the craft store. Uh, there are plenty of videos as to how to make your own wire cutter if you want to. I just decided to play it safe and get a, a store-bought one. Uh, and the, the cheapest uh, model there is will do the job. Now in terms of material, what you need is um, four millimeter foam board and um, the, for the base you will peel one side of the foam board just like that this is dollar store foam board and to do the terrain you will have to peel both sides right and bond paper of course okay and you might want to seal the, the map in the end with Mod Podge I can't seal it with this because it's um, gloss I prefer matte, however, with gloss, I believe it will, the longevity will last longer. Now, what, you, what I did was I took scans of the map boards and printed them twice. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have an inkjet printer. I have a laser printer and you gotta be careful because I don't know if you can see this, if you bend the paper, it'll cause this, but it doesn't matter because what I did is I took the foam board and peeled the upper coating and with uh, a glue stick I applied slowly uh, the first printout and it's not bendable and now for the terrain what I do is is I have a second printout there we go on bond paper and I'm gonna cut the um, uh, lower levels first and work myself higher um, and then what you do is is take your um, your uh, foam board apply glue to it and then apply your cuttings to to the to the uh, foam board and use the hot wire cutter to um, to cut them out and then the foam board will um, will adhere on top of this, so you it's almost like working with a puzzle, but you know where each piece goes. So with the cut pieces, you'll be gluing them and layering them here. And um, you may use the foam cutter to to cut it out. Make sure that the uh, for the terrain, the higher elevations, what you're using is a uh, foam board that has been peeled on both sides. And basically, what in terms of elevation, one level is four millimeters, and second level will be two, uh, eight millimeters, two pieces of foam board, one on top of each other, and third level and, and so on would be uh, three uh, levels of foam board. Um, it's pretty easy to do and if you don't have a foam cutter you can always use your exacto knife to cut the pieces. 
uh, to size. Now, uh, the only caveat that I should tell you is foam board tends to uh, warp. I had this stacked over, uh, actually under a couple of war games, and it's pretty level, and I'm hoping that will stay this way compared to um, compared to foam board board number one. Oh, they fit together pretty nifty, I think. Oh yeah, pretty pretty nice fit. Well, uh, if you decide to attempt this project, I wish you the best of luck. It's easy to do. If you have any questions, uh, just ask below. And uh, have a great one.